Hi folks, I'm SirHanandroid.com, where we get on Android every day. Anyway, today we're going to go ahead and take a look at a custom Android 5.0.2 Lollipop ROM for the OnePlus One. I know many of you are still waiting for Lollipop, and uh, you're like, uh, OnePlus One, where's my Lollipop? Steve Kondik, the founder of Sound Mount, said that next month they'll have Lollipop, but you don't have to wait. Um, so last whole week I flashed about a dozen ROMs and I couldn't find the one I wanted. I mean, they are pretty good, uh, but there's always some bug or something. Like uh, one ROM, like, you know, when I'm talking on the phone, the proximity sensor doesn't work. Uh, so I have to like, you know, sometimes the screen just turns off and I, I can hear the, the guy, but you know, it won't turn back on. And then I'll have to reboot the phone. Uh, or sometimes the screen doesn't turn off because the proximity sensor is not working. Um, so that was really annoying. And then there was one instance, one of the ROMs, the Bluetooth was like just kind of on and off. Other than that, uh, you know, I, I was just looking for a ROM that was stable and some ROMs just kind of rebooted all the time. Uh, anyway, I found that ROM. It is, is the SaverMod CM12 ROM, which I've got it running. And uh, after uh, days of just, you know, pulling my hair because it was just driving me nuts. You know, you have those days where you flash like five different custom ROMs and they don't work or something. Well, I flashed like more than 10. Uh, but I finally found one and I want to share this with you guys. So you guys can just install this one ROM and upgrade to Lollipop. And this one also has uh, the audio FX app working. And also it does come with the next camera from OnePlus One. Working pretty good. So let's go ahead and take a look. Let's go do this, baby. All right, let's go ahead and check out the Saber Mod CM12 by XDA user Robbie L811 plus AK Kernel by XDA user uh, AK. This Saber Mod CM12 actually comes with the AK Kernel, so it's been designed to run really fast and stable, uh, whereas normally you would flash ROM and kernel separately, and that can cause havoc because sometimes they just don't work. Uh, but this one comes with the kernel, so you don't have to worry about that. Inside the Saber Mod CM12 ROM, you'll find the OnePlus One Next camera, like I told you, and the Audio FX app, um, so you can keep enjoying the One. Plus one's camera abilities and audio tweaking. For the camera, still camera works just fine as usual. For video recording, everything works fine except 4K UHC mode. But uh, 4K DCI mode works fine, which is higher resolution anyways. Uh, now the 4K DCI mode does lag a little bit when you record, but it doesn't actually affect your recording. So it will play back just fine after recording. For roots, make sure you first enable developer options by clicking on about phone in settings and then enable root for apps and ADB. Otherwise, root will not work, but this is how root works for all uh, Android 5.0 Lollipop ROMs, if you didn't know. I uh, like CM12 and AOSP ROMs. Now, if you ever need some extra speed, uh, this kernel comes with overclockable kernel, which means you can overclock this ROM kernel combo. I'll simply download and install and run the Trickster Mod app. I'll have a link on it on my site uh, from the Play Store. Go into the general tab, set it to uh, 2.726 gigahertz or 2.88 gigahertz if you want to overclock it. I have tested fine. It was running just fine. I did a bunch of Antutu. I did it like 10 times on 2.88 gigahertz. That's 2.9 gigahertz. That's like speed of uh, the new upcoming Snapdragon 810 processor. Uh, but I do recommend going a little bit lower at 2.726 gigahertz, uh, which seems to be actually faster when I'm playing games. I think that's that could have something to do with the heat and stuff. So definitely 2.726 is my recommended uh, setting there. Uh, but this will get your phone, OnePlus One, just as fast as phones that have Qualcomm Snapdragon 805 processor, uh, such as like a Note 4. It's, it's a really good deal. Or the Nexus 6. And uh, yeah, I have tested everything, including voice calls, proximity sensor, 4G LTE data, Bluetooth, NFC. They all work flawless. This ROM just has everything working out of the box. Or at, at least the version I've tried, which is... Uh, this one just came out today. Uh, but make sure you try the version I tried because, you know, when newer versions come out, you know, developers actually com compile something else and then some new problems may appear. So definitely try the combo and I'll put the exact files I use here and uh, this should work flawless. And, you know, once it works flawless, you can go ahead and go ahead and download the newer versions on your own and then upgrade. That's my recommended method. Uh, overall, this is a great ROM kernel combo that's going to get your OnePlus One on the latest Android 5.0.0 to Lollipop with full root if you're not already on uh, Lollipop. Uh, the performance is simply awesome. Stability is 
hella stable and battery is also excellent so give it a try today and do let me know what you think and uh, installation is very easy just as usual you must have a rooted one plus one of course you can follow my uh, one plus one uh, step-by-step tutorial on my site i'll have a link to it and then once you have a rooted one plus one then follow my universal twerp guide and also make sure to install the firmware upgrade zip file in twerp before installing the rom uh, let me actually walk you through the process because even though i have the universal guide some people just can't follow directions i'll uh, just reboot into twerp recovery all right and then go into to wipe uh, and then advanced wipe and then do a uh, format system data cache dot the cache and then uh, go ahead and install the firmware upgrade zip file install the ROM install the G apps and then reboot and that's it and the AK kernel again is included in the ROM so you don't have to flash it separately and that should boo you the first time and uh, if you need to back up your apps make sure you use titanium backup app uh, before installing this ROM if you are coming from another custom ROM and also make a backup ROM uh, that way you can go back to whatever ROM you're on KitKat or whatever but that's that's how you do it and thanks for watching this video if you enjoyed this video um, definitely don't forget to hit that like subscribe and as always I stay on Android